So, what you're looking at today is how cells go to build tissues and tissues go to build organs. There are a number of different types of cells that we need to be aware of, right? First one, right, muscle cells. Right, muscle cells are used to go and move things around the body. They're used in contraction and such forth. Right, so we've got lots of muscle cells. Then we've got these nice flat epithelial cells, right? Or an epithelial cell. It's a nice flat cell. It goes and coats things. We have general body cells so we might have cells that are specially adapted to be in the small intestines so we have cells that have a large surface area you have cells that go and need to go and move things in and out of them so to do that they require a lot of energy so we have cells that have lots of mitochondria we have glandular cells, right? So glandular cells go and make up glandular tissue and they go and produce things like hormones and digestive enzymes and things like that. And finally, there are a small range of other types of cells that we have going out so they go and connect things together, right? And bits and bobs like that. So, main types of cells we need to think about muscle cells, epithelial cells, cells with large surface area that go and absorb things, cells that provide lots of energy, so have lots of mitochondria, and glandular cells that we find making up glandular tissue. So, cells go and make tissues, tissues go and form organs. Right, the organ, or the first organ that we're going to think about really, is the small intestines. So the small intestines really are there to go and help absorb nutrients from what you're eating. So the first cells that are involved are these ciliated villi cells right and they are going to go and increase the surface area of the inside of your small intestines so those villi cells are going and making villi tissue right underneath those villi cells then because your small intestines need to go and push the food through your intestines you need muscle cells. So these muscle cells are going to go and form a layer of muscle tissue that goes around the side of these villi cells. Right? So multiple muscle cells will go and form a nice layer of muscle tissue that goes around those villi cells. Right, around that then, what we need are just some epithelial cells, right, just to go and hold everything in. Right, epithelial cells are there to go and separate the muscle cells and the rest of the organ from the rest of the body. So, we end up with a nice layer of epithelial cells going all the way around the outside. So these epithelial cells, you can almost think of them as like cells that are forming a layer, are going to form a layer that's going to separate the muscle cells and the rest of this from the rest of the body. So that's kind of so if you think about it your small intestines are very much like 
a long tube that's hollow where your digested food is passing through in order to go and be absorbed by the body right because so that takes us from one two three types of cells so villi cells make villi tissue muscle cells make muscle tissue epithelial cells make epithelial tissue those three tissues together go and make an organ right that organ in this case is the small intestines if we go then and think about the next thing that the small intestines need to be connected to right the small intestines need a good blood supply so the next type of tissue that we need to think about is tissue that's going to go and form blood vessels so same again we're just going to go and have just some tissue here right realistically we're forming and we're talking about making capillaries so capillaries are only one cell thick and that is going and forming right a tissue that's going to go and form a blood vessel right that then can go and carry <coughs> red blood cells inside so lots of red blood cells and there are some other types of blood cells you could almost refer to the blood as being another type of tissue right so all of that is going and adding to these small intestines to go and form this tissue into the small intestines then you need digestive enzymes being secreted which is what we're going to look at next so the next type of cell that we need to consider when really thinking about things that's going to interact with this is or are glandular cells so your glandular cells are going to go and make up another organ that we are going to go and connect to our small intestines right and we're just going to go and connect it through a little little tube right which is also made out of epithelial tissue so the particular organ that we're going to talk about making is the pancreas so the pancreas is made out of glandular cells right these glandular cells in terms of what we are going to go and produce are responsible for producing digestive enzymes which will go and feed into the small intestines right so same as before it needs your glandular tissue so glandular cells individual glandular cells are going and forming glandular tissue around that because we can't have this just exposed to the rest of the body you're going to have a layer of epithelial cells all right so this layer of epithelial cells will go around the outside of your pancreas in this case all right so separating it off so your pancreas made out of glandular tissue and epithelial tissue goes and feeds down into your small intestines so we go in and we've formed an organ from cells which have gone to make tissues which like i said have gone on to make organs and same as before your pancreas will also need a blood supply so we go and we'll have some blood vessels forming near them which are going to go and carry blood cells which supply the pancreas with what it needs to live so we've gone from glandular cells to making glandular tissue 
which has further gone to go and make pancreas. So now we've got the small intestines, which we started with, made out of villi tissue, muscle tissue, epithelial tissue, and we have connected to that the pancreas, which is made out of glandular tissue and epithelial tissue. So together, they start to form what is called an organ system. So, an organ system is when you have two or more different organs interacting with each other. So technically, your digestive system would be your mouth, large intestines, small intestines, pancreas, stomach, etc. So different organs acting together, but all of them start off, so you go cells, tissues, organs, organ system in that order. And that's how you go and you make organ systems from individual cells.